everybody how's it going tonight so this is going to be a, uh, a pretty quick tutorial just about uh, how to take a finished photo that you've made in Lumion and then bring it into Lightroom now this is a, a pretty basic tutorial as you can probably see by the length of the video this is not going to take long uh, all I wanted to do is just kind of come into just an example like Villa Cabrera this is the one I, I just love using this one because I feel like it you know it has a just a great setting to take some uh, example shots um, now I'm not going to be getting too far into Lightroom. Uh, if people don't use this um, already, then um, I highly recommend that you would uh, invest in getting at least Lightroom for um, Adobe. As I said, it, it's a really cool tool and it's really easy to implement. You can uh, you can kind of add a lot of zing to the, your uh, photos without doing too much work. Um, so I'm just going to come in here and literally just render this one out. Um, Sky and clouds. Uh, maybe I will. Maybe I will just edit a little bit. So I'll get rid of the sun. I'll just put in a real skies, uh, just to give it a nice effect here. Um, maybe like here. Yeah, perfect. So I'll render this out, and I'll just call this desktop. So Lumion Lightroom test. All right. So yeah, we have our picture. Um, comes up pretty fast and I'll now close out Lumion because we already have the photo here so we just look at that quick the uh, the photos app on my computer I'm not sure why but it's been very weird lately like it'll just kind of like freeze when you're trying to um, open folder or fo photos all the time I'm not really sure why it just this only started happening a couple months ago but uh, yeah, so then there's our photo. Uh, I'm going to open up Lightroom. And once this loads, uh, so that's just in a, something I was doing in another, uh, another project. So I will open Lumion Lightroom. And yeah, so then we have our fo uh, photo in here. Uh, I think that this is only like 1920. Um, so yeah, you literally just come up here and you hit auto and you can get some effects just put right onto it and Lightroom kind of, it will like detect what you're, so you need for that photo. Um, and then, you know, I just find that it kind of like the effects work just a bit better than Lumion. Um, as much as I do like using, like playing around with the effects in Lumion, um, things like exposure, I just find that they, they tend to work a bit better in Lightroom. Um, so, you know, if you think that maybe the sun's a little too bright, you can turn it down here. Maybe you want it to be a lot brighter. It's no problem. Um, you can, like I said, you can really just play around with that. Um, but if you just hit auto, then Lightroom will kind of take it and go like, okay, this is what we think we, uh, has to be done to the photo. And then you can just kind of come down here, view original. Uh, and you can also have a hotkey, with just the uh, backspace there. So you can see uh, this, is the, uh, this is the edited one. And then this is the original one. So as you can see, it does add um, a bit of a pop to it. Like I, I see, especially in like the trees around here, um, they look kind of dull in just the Lumion one, but you hit that and it just adds a little more color to the scene. So yeah, as I said, this is a really short video. I am going to leave it here. Um, thanks a lot for all of the uh, support lately, guys. Uh, it's been a lot of fun making videos. Uh, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that button. And uh, I'm going to try and come up with... Uh, a lot more clips just for helping people in Lumion, but uh, I am going to try and focus on getting some of these shorter ones in just because I feel like uh, people kind of retain that information pretty well just to see this quickly. But yeah, in recap, get Lightroom at least. Um, Photoshop is also good to have, but Lightroom, in my opinion, is probably the easiest to use and it's debatably the most important. Um, you know, you don't have to get, you can do the same thing in Photoshop, I think with the raw camera edit and it just hits uh, OK. But I like using Lightroom. It's just kind of a little more streamlined and, uh, you know, you get to just get to see all the effects fast. So, yeah, thanks for uh, stopping by, guys. I'll see you in the next one.